Hey guys, for your ICE review paragraph, this time around you're going to be setting up your own Google Doc um, just in your Google Drive and then in the end you will be turning it into turnitin.com. Um, but this video is just a quick video to show you how to set up your document in MLA format. Um, so I'm just going to walk through the steps of kind of how I do it. These can be done in any order, um, but these are the, like the necessary things to make sure your paper is formatted correctly. So once you open your Google Doc here, um, you see a blank page. I, the first thing I do is I check my margins. Um, your margins are probably default to the right uh, uh, size, which is one inch, okay? Your margin should be one inch. I have set my default to half an inch um, because I like to get more on my page. <laughs> and that's just because when I print things off for my students, I like to have one page instead of multiple pages. So I do need to change my margins. And if you do too, this is how you do it. You go to file, down to page setup and then it's very simple right here margins you don't have to worry about anything else here and then this should just be one all the way around click ok and you can see that it, it did move my cursor a little bit more further in and that's for all of the margins around um, the next thing I do is I insert the header of my paper and the header is what's up here in the top right corner with your last name and the page number. And there is a specific way that you do this that usually confuses students. So please pay attention to this part here. So a couple different things I can do. Well, here's how I start. Go to insert and down to page numbers. And then up here, the very first option where you see the one and the two, that is what you want, okay? That is important because once you start typing, if you type onto multiple pages, and for this assignment, you may or may not, but once you do type onto multiple pages, that automatically changes to page two, three, and so on. Um, a lot of times students manually type in one, and then it'll be one on each page, and they're like, I can't fix it, and that it's because they have manually done that. So you want to have one there. And you see it's kind of gray because it does have you know some, some special rules behind it. So I do need to move my cursor in front of that one, and then I just need to type my last name here. And I'm just going to say last name, space, okay? No commas, nothing. And then I am done with that. And I can actually just kind of click onto my paper to get out of the header. You don't have to do anything else. And like I said, if you do end up typing onto page two, that will automatically be there, okay? Um, so now I need to set up uh, the part of my paper that I'm going to be typing in. First thing, and do this very first, go to the line spacing. I'm sorry, line spacing right here. And if you hover over these things, it shows you line spacing. And it does default to 1.15. MLA format wants us to use double spacing. Do that very first because then um, your heading that we're about ready to write and everything will be, um, will be correct, okay? So let's talk about your heading. Um, you need your first name, okay? Oh, Google wants to, or Google Docs wants to auto insert there, but just your first name right there. And then my first name. And then the class name. And it's my name because that's, I'm your teacher. And then the date. Um, most of the time for, you know, formal papers that you write, you're going to want to put the due date. Um, and so for my in-class students, I am hoping that we can get this turned in on Friday, March 5th in class. Um, so let's go with that. And the way it is formatted is you would put 5 March 2021. So it is weird. It's different than what we would normally write the date as, okay? So that is your heading, okay? So header, heading, right? Hit enter again just one time. You never hit enter more than once, okay? And we need a title here. So for that, you do want to align your title to the center, okay? See that I went to the align, click center. I'm going to just say your title goes here, okay? Um, and then from there, I can hit enter again. I want to go back, align left, and I can just hit the tab key to indent my paragraph, and I can start writing my paragraph here, okay? And then you just go on. When you want to start a new paragraph, you hit enter one time, hit tab, um, and it will indent. Sometimes it automatically indents for you. It tries to kind of like predict your, your actions, you know? Um, so just, you know, pay attention to that. Um, but I really just wanted to kind of show you how to set up your paper in MLA format. 
Um, we will be talking about your Works Cited page, but that will be later on during this process, okay?